Hi, in this video we're going to be dealing with series in parallel, and this is part one of the series. So, um, if you've dealt with a uh, series and if you dealt with parallel, uh, you're probably already going to know how to do these. So, let's first start with rewriting the circuit, and what you want to do is deal with the parallel part first. So, let's find the parallel uh, resistance first. Let's scroll down a bit. So, that is 4 ohms and 6 ohms. So let's see. So here's the formula for resistance in parallel. There are different ones, but this is the one I'm going to use right now. This is the basic one, and it works for just uh, it works for all parallel resistances. So it's one, or uh, the resistance in parallel is equal to one over R two plus one over R three. So then we're going to pump in the values and we had 1 over 4 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms and so now we just need to get a common denominator so we can add them together so I'm going to multiply this by 3 on the bottom 3 on top so we're going to get 3 over 12 and this one by 2 so 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 6 is 12 and then we're going to add those together, so we're going to get 5 over 12. So the resistance in parallel, oops, sorry, this is supposed to be resistance in parallel, not the total resistance, sorry about that, it's resistance in parallel. So the resistance in parallel is equal to 12 over 5 ohms, or this is equal to... 2.4 ohms. So now let's rewrite the circuit. So initially we had the circuit like this, but we've combined the re these two resistors. So let's rewrite the circuit with with that combination made. So we're still going to have the power supply. Here's the voltage of the supply. Here's R1. That was 2 ohms. Now this is the new representation of the resistors in parallel. Just a single resistor, and that's going to be the resistors in parallel. That's going to be equal to 2.4 ohms. So now we've, we've, put the, we've put the circuit in series, so now we can go ahead and finish this off. So now the total resistance is equal to R1 plus the resistance in parallel. And we just pop in the values, so you get... Uh, the total resistance is equal to 2 plus 2.4, so that's going to be equal to 4.4 ohms. And that is how you, that's how you solve up for the total resistance when you have a circuit that's in both series and parallel. So all you, all you do with these is whenever you have a, a parallel part of it, you combine it, and when you combine these, it's going to make that, uh, it's going to essentially make it look like it's in series with this other one and you're gonna rewrite the circuit like this and once you do that just add up this resistor and add up the other resistors just uh, because resistors in series are just you just you can add them together so that's how you do this uh, that's how you do this so I, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, uh, check out the second video in the series that's gonna be coming out pretty soon so good luck in your classes